So I don't know about you, but I hate when I start a new project and the first thing I have to do is start installing all the packages I want to use, going through that painful search feature in the Unity Package Manager. Don't you wish there was a single button that would do all of that for you? You press it and it magically uninstalls all the packages you don't want and starts installing all the ones you do? Let's see how to make one. First, let's look at how packages actually work. If we open the packages directory and take a look, you'll see it's only two files. If you open the manifest file, it shows all the packages currently installed in the project. So if we edit this file, add or remove packages, Unity will auto update. It'll actually uninstall the ones that we've removed from that file and install the ones we've added. So in order for us to automate this process, all we have to do is change the contents of the file. Let's take the package file that we already have and just clean it up. Let's remove any of these packages that we're not using, add a few that we do want to use, and don't forget to actually include the tools that we're currently building at the moment. Next, we need somewhere to store this file. Somewhere we can access basically anywhere in the world. Um, I use GitHub. There's a great feature in GitHub called GitHub Gists. If we head over to the Gists page, we can create a file so that we can easily download it. GitHub will give us a unique ID for the file, and if we combine the name of the account, so it's my one, Jason's story, and the ID, we can create a URL that will link directly to the file's contents. The manifest file ready to download, let's head back on over to Unity. First, we're going to make a little helper function that will generate the URL we need to get access to that GitHub gist. Then we can make an async function using the HTTP client class to download the contents of that file. Next, we can make a function that takes some text and replaces the contents of the manifest file with the text you provide. Finally, let's tie the whole thing together. So create the URL, download the file contents, and override the package file. Done. We now have our magic button that will instantly do a bulk install slash uninstall of all of our default packages. So this is pretty cool, but this file is starting to violate the single responsibility principle. It's dealing with a lot of logic. It's dealing with our folder stuff and it's dealing with our package stuff. So let's do a quick refactor and move everything into its own dedicated class. There we go, much better. This whole bulk package replace thing is pretty good, but what if we just want to replace one or two and not the whole thing? Maybe have some additional buttons to add packages that we only want in some of our projects. So the package manager client class has a number of helpful functions that to do basically those things. So if we open our packages class that we made, we can add a new function that lets us directly install Unity packages. What's extra useful about this is you don't even have to provide the version number. It'll automatically resolve to the latest version of whatever packages you pick. So there you go. I hope you found that helpful. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that. If you want to keep up to date on any new content I create, you can follow me over on my Ko-fi page. Uh, where you can actually also optionally donate to get access to a private Discord. So there you go. See you on the next one.